it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and this video I'm going to be sharing all of my experiences on Fiverr. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Scary ugly. Uh, so stay tuned. So I worked with three different designers on Fiverr and they were all very different in their approaches, in their design skills, and in the product and communication that I got from them. Uh, let me start with the scariest one and we'll work towards the best one and then I'll have some tips for you at the end. So before I jump into my experiences on Fiverr, I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've used Fiverr or any other similar service where you are getting a designer to help you design shirts for print on demand. I would love to hear your good experiences as well as your frightening experiences, just so we know what kind of things go on out there, what kind of things we should be looking for, and to better prepare ourselves in case we are looking for a designer in the future. So let me just say from the get-go that I was very new to the whole print-on-demand, trademark, copyright, all of this stuff when I started trying to use Fiverr. So the first few designs that I asked for were not designs that I could use for merch by Amazon. I'll explain what my mistakes were as well as the frustration that I found with um, the first designer that I encountered. I did my homework. I looked at these different designers. I asked for a gig. I looked through different portfolios or rather what they had up on their site sharing with sharing what they did or what they said they did. Um, so the first design that I went with, I'm not mentioning any names on this one. The first designer I went with, I spent $25 for this first design. I thought, okay, because my husband is a designer and he's, and he's always told me, you get what you pay for. There's no way you're going to get a good design for, tw for even $25. He thought it was too cheap. So I paid $25 for my first design. Uh, let's, let's see the correspondence. I'm going to show you all the correspondence and the images of the designs that I got back in response to my requests. This was the design that I asked for. I asked for Jane Loves Vera or Jane Hart Vera on an old school style, like mom style tattoo, uh, red and black and like parchment yellowy brown colors. And I, I included an example of the colors and kind of style I was looking for. Now this is a reference to Firefly. Jane is the a character and Vera is his gun. This is not okay to use on a Merch by Amazon shirt because Firefly is copyright, trademarked, all this stuff. So it was something I was not aware of starting out. So that was a newbie mistake on my part. Now I could have just had it for me, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but that was what I asked for and I'll show you the design that I showed them. So with my description of what I was looking for, this was the sample image I said in this style, these type colors, this is the kind of parchment, that's the kind of font I'm looking for. So we'll keep that in mind that this is the style that I was asking for. So this is the response I got back. So pretty standard. Hi, thanks for placing the order. Where did you hear about me? I'll deliver your work as soon as possible. Check out my other services and his name. So here is what I got back with my first image. So I got this response. Yoo-hoo, your work is done. Please see the attached file to the message. Important, if there are any changes you want, tell me and I will modify. Now this was one of the um, requirements that I, I chose and probably why I paid more was that it would have unlimited revisions so I would I was surely to get what I what I was wanting or envisioning right um, each customer is important if you're not satisfied wait a bit before placing a negative feedback we're here to listen check what we've done fix it all and if necessary remake the gig if you don't like my work please or if you do like my work give me positive review positive feedback and don't forget to share now, here is the image that I got back. So this is what I got back. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but not terrible. Like I could see where it was going. It was in the same kind of style-ish. I don't know about this weird ribbon coming out the top. And then like the heart, if you can see, is like touching the, the font. It's not, I mean, it looked like they were, it looked like now that I know a little bit better, they found this image somewhere and tried to Squeeze those words in there because there, there were those, I don't know, textures along the side or something. So it was in the same vein of kind of what I was asking for. So this is the style in which I was asking for something along that line. It was close-ish. Okay, so, you know, I, he said, you know, and of course I paid for the revisions. So here's what I wrote back. 
So my response was, if you could have the ribbon like the one on the image I attached here, and then here's this one, which was similar-ish to this one with the kind of parchment look, right? Um, if you could have the ribbon similar to the one I have attached here, except with the higher portion on the left and Jane on, on the heart portion and Vera on the lower portion on the right. So like the ribbon, but like have Jane up here and Vera down there, you know. Um, ignore the leaves and curls and all that stuff. Also, can the white section be more of a parchment type color, beige, yellow, and the red maybe be a deeper red rather than a true red? So I was looking for a little more like ribbony name anyway so and so I got like okay I didn't spell that out when I first sent the original image that it was like okay that's you know we're not gonna be able to fit both names on there it's just not gonna happen so let's just change the ribbon like just change the color of the heart change the ribbon and, the, and that that was that didn't seem like too hard maybe I wasn't as clear as I could have been but let's move forward and see what happened next so my response was okay I will modify your design soon. So modify wasn't spelled correctly, but it may just be a language barrier, whatever. So I got the form letter again, you who your work is done. And this is the image that came with this one. Mm -hmm. So we went from this to this to this. All right, so when I saw this, I thought, all right, it's not anywhere near like the original image they sent me that I thought they could modify, because as a graphic designer, you would just take what you've done, modify that, and move forward. And this was this is really when I started thinking, I don't think that's their image that they're using. Like, I started right around this point getting that kind of like, eh, right, what? Um, one... Grammatically, it's incorrect. Jane loved Vera, and I could see they were trying, but let me let me read with you what uh, I sent to them next. So I wrote back, Hi, I like the way the ribbon looked on the first one with the ribbon curling behind. In my last revision, I asked the higher portion on the left of the heart, on the higher portion on the left with Jane, heart, on the the portion and Vera on the lower portion on the right. I also asked that the white section be more of a parchment type color, beige, aged yellow, and the red be a deeper red rather than a true red. Also, love should read loves for it, for it to be grammatically correct. I like the styling of the first image you sent. I just wanted to adjust the ribbons in front and to change the color of the heart. See, I thought you could just adjust those ribbons and change the color, right? Like so, not scrap it and start all over. Okay, here's what went on going forward. This time I didn't get any, okay, I'll work on your revisions, get it soon, anything like that. All, the next thing I know, I get a, you your work is done. And then this is the image I get from them at this point. Yeah, um, so this is what I get back. They got the Jane above and the loves on there, or the heart, um, and then the veers over there, lower, and then the ribbon in the back, I think they misunderstood what I was talking about, and they just took part of the ribbon from the original one and, like, stuck it in the back. Let's take a peek at the progression. So we have the first one that wasn't too far off. It just needed a little tweaking. Then it got worse, and then it got worse. I mean, I guess he changed the color. He did get the red color like a little bit deeper. Let's move forward and see where it goes from here. So at this point, I write back, the shape of the original heart was the one I liked. It looks odd to have a random bit poking out at top. The style of the ribbon looks totally different on the front than on the one poking out of the back. I'm getting worried that you aren't understanding me. I asked that the ribbon be a parchment color, beige, aged yellow. If the word loves is spelled out, it needs to be, it needs to match the coloring of the other words. Oh, that's right, because that one didn't match. Let's see, where did that go? So it, he changed this to red on loves. Okay, 
So then he says, can I design the same? And he sends me the image that it was one of the examples of like the style I was looking for. So at this point, I, I just know it's going downhill because no, you can't. That's not your image. right? How are you going to take their image? And anyway, moving forward. So at that point, he sends me another message because I don't think I responded quickly enough. He says, basically, I gave you a custom offer according to your first drawing. Buyer cannot change the concept after accepting offer. I didn't feel like I was changing the concept at all. I said, uh, I'm not changing the concept. The first image you sent me was one that was heading in the right direction. You have unlimited revisions as a feature. I asked for some specific revisions to the first image. The next image you sent was nothing like the first. It was totally different. I was asking for revisions to the first image. Again, I was not asking you to change the concept, just asking that you revise the first image, which was one of the features you have offering your buying price. If this is not going to work out, just refund my money and I'll move on. And, th and then that's in ended up being what he did. He ended up just refunding my money so I would go away. <laughs> so that was my first experience on Fiverr. Wasn't pleasant. I felt like it was a huge waste of time. So going forward, I got a name of a designer from somebody else who had gotten designs. And again, I had, this person did a better job, but again, it was images that I couldn't really use, which was totally my fault. Um, so let me pull those up and I'll share those with you. Again, they're okay, you know, and they were more towards what I was asking for. But again, just, I, it, it was my own bad that I, you know, I can't put that up on Amazon, but I didn't know that at the time. So the next designer I went with, I asked them to create the design, the same one basically is what I was asking for. And they did a way better job. Um, it was one that I initially tried to use or did use, um, but it ended up getting removed from merch, which is fine. Again, if you are going to a designer asking them to create a design for you, it is not their job to research it for you and let you know if it's trademarked let you know if it's going to be okay for merch by Amazon. Their job is just to create what you ask them to create. So if you've asked them to make something that is not going to be okay for merch, you know, that's on you. I mean, and, and then also if your design doesn't sell, it's not necessarily the designer's fault. It could be that the title was bad. The keywords were bad. It's something that was not allowed. There are a million different factors. Their job is to create what you ask for. So this was the one that they created for me. I'll show you and this. And this is the second designer. He was way better. I mean, it, it, he's somebody that I would consider using again. But again, I prefer making my own designs now. He, he did do a better job though. So there was this one. Again, this was before I understood trademark, before I understood there were lots of things I couldn't do. I think because I had seen things like parent, like parent, not necessarily parody shirts, but like fan shirts on other sites like Redbubble, Teespring, Zazzle, things like that, um, that were up there. And so I was just like, okay, you know, and early on in, in, um, Amazon, it was a little looser, but it got much tighter. So this was one, um, a Lego, I had him do a Lego dad shirt and a Lego mom shirt because we're a Lego family here, you know? Um, but again, not okay, not totally not okay to put, but he made what I asked for and you know, it looks okay. I mean, man. Come on, but it's okay. <laughs> Way better than my first experience. And then this is what my husband wanted: a uh, graduate of the Handsome Boy Modeling School. But this is based off of a song by a band. So those were the designs from my second designer. So my third experience on Fiverr was with my friend Mike Peterson. He is the treasure gnome. He has got a video talking about what you can kind of expect when you order a five dollar shirt design. This is from him. Um, so I'm going to make a link for his video, Merch by Amazon $5 Designs. You're going to get something basic, you know, simple, good, basic design, nothing fancy or intricate. Um, so I'm going to link his username. So if you're interested in checking him out on Fiverr, I have ordered a design or two from him. Now they didn't sell, but that's not his fault. He created exactly what I asked for and they came back. They looked good. He gave me a couple versions um, for what I paid for it. And yeah, so it was, again, it was a design I asked for. I was happy with what he gave me. It was 
and I was confident that, you know, he knew what kind of fonts were going to be okay, what kind of images like would be okay for me to use. I heard so many horror stories about people getting designs that were stolen from someone else or finding a copycat shirt up there and confronting the person that has it and them saying, I got this design off Fiverr. So knowing that you've got somebody who knows the ins and outs and knowing what kind of fonts are okay to use, what kind of images are okay to use. Um, so that was a huge stress reliever for me uh, going forward when I had Mike do some designs for me. So that was my Fiverr nightmare and other stories that got better as they went along. Uh, and I would love to hear from you guys in the comments section any stories you have about using Fiverr, whether they be good or whether they be frightening. And that way we can get more knowledge going forward as to what to look for when we are finding a designer on Fiverr. Because you really want to be confident in who you choose, making sure that they know what's okay, what kind of terms are okay, what kind of fonts are okay, images and things like that. And that you're confident knowing they're not just going and stealing an image from somebody else and giving it to you as their own work. All right, I hope you found this video, if not helpful, at least amusing. Uh, give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to hear some of your stories down in the comment section below. And I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.